The market and the state, big capital and big government. Just about everything we talk about in politics today revolves around those two poles. If you're on the right, you want the market to do its miracles and have the state get out of its way. If you're on the left, you think that the market has to be held in check by the regulators and safety nets of the state. But what if there's a third option? Instead of those two monoliths, imagine a web of collaboration that's neither market nor state where no one is in charge because everyone's in charge. No speculative bubbles, no bosses or bureaucrats, only peers. That's a pipe dream, right? But think about the video you're watching right now. I'm able to talk to you through this medium thanks to exactly that kind of organization in the peer networks that create and support the technologies that make up the internet. If you sent email or browsed Wikipedia, you've seen peer networks at work. But what if the internet is just the beginning? A growing number of us have started to think that the core principles that govern the design of the net could be applied to solve different kinds of problems. Wikipedia used peer networks to solve the problem of creating a global encyclopedia. The crowdfunding site Kickstarter used them to solve the problem of supporting creative work. Just three years old, Kickstarter is on track to distribute more money this year than the National Endowment for the Arts. The world is full of problems that can be solved with peer networks, but they don't have to involve digital technology. Twenty years ago, the Brazilian city of Porto Alegre pioneered a radical new technique they called participatory budgeting. Each year, neighborhoods gather to debate and propose priorities for the upcoming budget new school construction, sewer repair, bridge building. Each neighborhood creates a ranked list of projects and the government disperses funds based on those priorities. The money comes from the state, but the decision of what to fund comes from the street. You can see in all these efforts the emergence of a new political philosophy as different from the state centralized solutions of the old left as it is from the libertarian market religion of the right. The people working within this framework believe in social progress and they believe the most powerful tool to advance the cause of progress is the peer network. They are peer progressives. This is not some rarefied theory dreamed up on a commune somewhere or in a grad school seminar on radical thought. It is a practical evolving reality, one that is already transforming dozens of different sectors. This is why it is such an encouraging time to build on these values. We know that peer networks can work in the real world. The task now is to discover how far they can take us.